Thanks for helping out. Here, let me help you with that. No, I got it. It's okay. No, no, really. Oh. No! That was a great impression of the Three Stooges. I am really sorry. I, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I believe it. No, no, it's, it's, I'm okay, I'm okay. If you really want to help out, I've got two boxes here filled with pots and pans I need to drop off at a girlfriend's. Listen, I'll get those too. Listen, great. <laughs> I can't wait to have you over for dinner. Here, let me get that. No, no, please, please, don't move. I am really excited. I am so excited. I'm, I'm usually not this clumsy. I don't need some help with those. I mean, it's too much for one person to handle. Oh, believe me, I can handle this. Are, are you sure you don't need any help? I'm probably... <laughs> I work out all the time. <laughs> After you, Mr. Universe. Shut up. Listen, um, this is my card. If something should come up, give me a call. Hey, put my number on there. Five, five, five. Five, two, one. Are you a mom? <laughs> no, thank you. No. I'm a med student. <laughs> Hey, where did you learn how to do that? Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Just let me lay here for a couple of weeks. Did oh. you break anything? Oh, uh, no. I think I'm okay. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Kathy's stuff. This is all my fault. I feel terrible. Yeah, that makes two of us. Oh. How many fingers am I holding up? Seven. He's okay. Oh. Here, let me help you. Oh, this is awful. I hope you feel better. I already do. Now will you let us carry something? Yeah, me. Oh. Oh. Listen, uh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess I was trying to make an impression. Oh, you did? At the bottom of the stairs. That's it, Les. You're walking. It's okay, Les. I'll give you a ride. <laughs> nice car. Thanks. I just got it. You guys need any help? No. Listen, uh, it was great meeting you. I hope we see each other again soon. Well, it was nice meeting you. And thanks for all the help, and I hope you find who you're looking for. <laughs> Like they just found us. I hope you don't mind if we borrow your car for a minute. Come on, Les. That's okay. I'm walking Kathy to the gym. Will you get in here? Hey, be careful. I stay forever for this car. Don't worry. I'll be right back. I hope you try better than you walk. You better buckle up. you had a park. May I take your order, please? Thank you. Impressed. Don't worry. I'm gonna make my move. Well, try to make one for me, too. Hey, what? This side doesn't look so bad. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Open up, it's David Brockman. Surprise! You're not a 
upset, are you? Of course not. Drop dead. You know, I think I hear a little anger in your voice. I think you've got good hearing. Well, coming from a med student, that's good to know. Come on, let me in. Why? There's nothing else in here to break. I'm sorry. Let me just give you these flowers and then I'll leave. I'm sorry. I was wrong. You should file a complaint against me. But I tried, but they said get in line. These are for you. Thank you, but I am still upset. I hear they can't get the french fries out of my carburetor? Oh, don't worry about it. You can have my car. It's parked right out front. I have seen your car. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. How? I'll take you to dinner. Uh, there isn't a restaurant that expensive. All right, then I'll take you to dinner a lot. You are crazy if you think I'm going to go on a date with you. A date? I don't want a date. I'm just the guy that's always looking for some wonderful friends. <laughs> I'm going to put these in some water. Do you want to come in? Yeah, sure, why not? You see, I'm getting better. I'm glad one of us is. So where's that cute man, Les? Oh, I tried to get him to come in, but uh, he wanted to stay with the car. Listen, Kathy, I was thinking, uh, you and I, we should get together sometime. <laughs> I'm busy then. I hope I don't seem too forward. <laughs> no, so far you seem a little backwards. Uh, you're playing hard to get. No, I'm playing impossible to get. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight that you can't go out with me? Well, some girlfriends and I are going dancing at the Hippodrome. The Hippodrome? Uh -huh. You are not going to believe this. I, myself, am going dancing tonight at the Hippodrome. Well, good. I'll see you there. What a small world. This is just unbelievable. I'm going to the Hippodrome. You're going to the Hippodrome. You know, this relationship was meant to be. I want you to think about that. You know, <laughs> even my future is like... This is David. <laughs> you are amazing. You work so hard to get a date and then you stand me up? I mean, what's a girl to do? Kathy, I want you to listen real close. Do you know anything about a special key that belonged to your father? Oh, yes. He used to wear it around his neck. It's wonderful. I wear it to remember him. Kathy, the killer is a guy named Max Dalfo. He's looking for that key. I want you to lock the door and don't open it until I get there. Key. You have turned out to be a beautiful young woman. I'm so glad I didn't have to kill you 15 years ago.
You okay? Yes. It was Max. He took the key. He's got all the keys. He's on his way to the warehouse. I'm okay. Thank you for saving my life. Hi, my pleasure. <laughs> Anytime. Well, Les, uh, we've taken up enough of your time. Oh, she hasn't. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't the two of you go on a picnic? That's a great idea. I love picnics. <laughs> well, how about it, David? Yeah, yeah, I love that idea. Uh, you're in luck. I put together a wonderful basket, and I can't use it because I'm late for my golf game. Well, we'll take it. It's all yours. I left it underneath David's desk. Great. Well, I'll be right back. Yeah, I feel great. Ever since that diamond was stolen, there wasn't a day that I didn't think about getting it back to England. Well, we did it. I understand the Queen wants to thank us in person. Yeah. Listen, if you get fired again, give me a call. You'll always have a place with me. Thanks. Honey, I'm here. Honey, I'm here? Hey, I gotta go. Here's my caddy. Hey, listen, uh... You take good care of yourself. You too. And when you retire in about 40 years, maybe we can get together and play some golf. Yeah. That sounds great. Hey. It's okay if you want to hug me. 